We will talk about how to quit smoking using scientifically proven methods. We will discuss how smoking affects our health, why it's difficult to quit, and what to expect when you stop smoking. Quitting smoking is never too late. After a year of quitting, your risk of heart disease is halved. After three weeks, your lungs will work much better, and you will notice the improvement. After 10 years, you will have several times less risk of lung cancer compared to if you keep smoking. The main problem with cigarettes is tar, which is released during the burning of a cigarette. It coats the lungs and airways, and its components damage DNA, causing lung cancer. On the other hand, nicotine itself, the main component of tobacco, is addictive, leading to dependence. Nicotine quickly reaches the brain, just 10 seconds after inhalation, and affects nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, causing the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. Momentarily, nicotine is a stimulant, but in the long term, it damages nerves and the brain, causing neurodegeneration. Moreover, smoking for weight loss is not a good idea. While nicotine decreases appetite in the short term, in the long term, people still gain weight despite smoking. Nicotine also causes fat deposition around the stomach, which is the worst type of fat, leading to diabetes and metabolic disorders. Now, let's discuss the three most common and well-evidenced ways of stopping smoking. The first method is nicotine replacement therapy. Usually, these are patches applied to the skin, gums, lozenges, or nasal sprays. The most common form is skin patches. Here's how it's done. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only. First, set a quit date, for example, two weeks from now, and mentally prepare yourself to quit. Remove all smoking triggers, like cigarettes, lighters, ashtrays, and other smoking-related items, from your home, car, and workplace. Inform your family members about your decision to gain emotional support from them. Identify triggers that make you want to smoke and develop coping mechanisms in response to them, such as chewing gum, exercising, or walking. When your quit date arrives, stop smoking abruptly and start nicotine replacement therapy. This usually involves using nicotine patches, which are easy to self-apply. There are also nicotine-containing gums and nasal sprays, but the most common practice is using patches. Typically, you start with a 21 mg nicotine patch for 6 weeks. After 6 weeks, you might switch to a 14 mg patch for 2 weeks, then a 7 mg patch for 1 to 2 weeks. After that, you stop using the patch altogether. This whole procedure usually takes 10 to 12 weeks. In the case of using nicotine chewing gum or lozenges, during the first 6 months, they can be used every 1 to 2 hours then gradually widen the intake window to 4 hours, then to 8 hours, and eventually stop. Again, 10 to 12 weeks are usually enough to stop smoking. Cognitive behavioral therapy plays an important role in this process. It helps to identify what triggers smoking and how to cope with these triggers with healthy habits. For some people, support groups are also effective. Joining a local or online support group can provide an opportunity to share experiences and receive peer support. Another method is prescription medication, which is usually prescribed by doctors. One such medication is varenicline, which blocks nicotine receptors in the brain, preventing the pleasure derived from smoking. It also eases withdrawal symptoms when you stop smoking. This medication is typically prescribed one week before the person plans to quit and lasts for 12 weeks. If successful, the intake of this medication can be extended for another 12 weeks to increase the likelihood of long-term abstinence. The main limitations of the medication are side effects like nausea, vivid dreams, insomnia, and changes in mood. In rare cases, it can cause depression or suicidal thoughts, in which case the medication should be stopped. This method is reserved for people who have already tried to stop smoking with other methods unsuccessfully or for those who need to quit smoking immediately due to health effects and severe nicotine dependence. This medication and nicotine replacement therapy are not used together. Varenicline is considered one of the most effective medications against smoking. Around 30%, or sometimes higher, 
of people who use it are smoke-free after one year. This is an important success compared to a placebo. In the case of nicotine replacement therapy, the one-year abstinence rate is approximately 10 to 15 percent. When people try to stop smoking without other supports or medications, the success rate is around 5 percent. But remember, do not be afraid of failure. According to studies, a person has an increased chance to quit smoking if they try multiple times, even if unsuccessful. The third method is the use of bupropion, an antidepressant that reduces cravings and withdrawal symptoms. Bupropion is usually prescribed by a doctor and should be started one to two weeks before the planned quit date. It is typically prescribed for seven to twelve weeks, and in some cases, treatment may be extended up to six months if necessary. As for side effects, bupropion can cause insomnia, dry mouth, dizziness, and weight loss. Bupropion differs from other common antidepressants because it reduces the reuptake of norepinephrine and dopamine, while most other antidepressants act on serotonin levels. Additionally, it acts as an antidepressant and can be beneficial for individuals who experience depression or anxiety during smoking cessation. Bupropion is specifically approved by the FDA for smoking cessation, whereas other antidepressants are not. Bupropion is most effective for people with high levels of nicotine dependence and those who experience cravings. However, bupropion is not recommended for people with a history of seizures or eating disorders because high norepinephrine levels lower the seizure threshold. Now, let's talk about quitting smoking cold turkey, which means quitting abruptly without the use of any nicotine replacement therapy, NRT, medications, or professional support. This method is useful for highly motivated and determined individuals and for people who have quit smoking successfully in the past and are confident in their ability to do it again. It is also suitable for people who smoke less. Although the success rate of quitting smoking cold turkey is low, around 3 to 5 percent, which is even lower compared to a placebo, it can still be effective for some. After quitting smoking, withdrawal symptoms can occur, such as cravings, irritability, mood swings, anxiety, and restlessness. These symptoms peak after several days and gradually subside after a week. Most symptoms will disappear within several weeks, but depression and increased appetite can last longer, which can cause significant weight gain. People commonly return to smoking because of weight gain. In this case, the solution includes exercise and a healthy diet, such as focusing on a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Choosing healthy snacks like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and yogurt can help manage increased appetite. Practicing mindfulness, meditation, or yoga can help manage stress and emotional eating.